You're a good boy. Hey, everybody, Ann here. It is a beautiful, beautiful, cool, sunny morning. Well, there's a few clouds out, but that's not a big deal. So I'm still getting ready for my parents' visit. And um, today I'm going to show you, like I promised I was going to do for the last video, but forgot about it, um, how I've been getting beauty to drink. But before we get to beauty, I want to show you something that I worked on earlier this morning. This. Do you know what this is? Can anybody guess? Come on, guess. <laughs> I usually make them much bigger. I use a, uh, usually use a two liter soda bottle, but I don't really buy that stuff. So when my friend Denise was over here the other day, she uh, gave me a liter of this really special water. And so I took the label off and I cut the lid off and then I turned it in like this. Can you see that? I poked little holes with a screw around both the outside part and the inside part and just connected it with some twist ties, drilled a couple bigger holes and this is the little handle and then drilled a bunch of other holes because you need to be able to sink this. So what you do is you just put some bread or something in there, you know, and put it down in the water. What I'll do is I'll get a longer rope or something or other and uh, wrap it around this and tie it to wherever it is we're fishing and you put it down in the water and you just wait and hopefully hopefully minnows will go in there they go in and they can't get back out I've used this so many times but just a bigger model um, and it's worked it's worked every time but I usually put it in like a stream or a river um, but we're gonna be fishing at a lake so um, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to put it in the water and uh, see if we can catch anything. And then when when we're done catching minnows, all I'll do is I'll just put it in here. I'll fill it up with water and um, we can take the lid off at that point and just stick it down in here, fill it with water. That way we can just reach in. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, reach in and um, get minnows. Hopefully if we catch them. Who knows? I hope so. What's going on in here? You been squawking? Oh yeah, she laid me an egg so I'm gonna take her out and we're gonna show you how I have been giving her water. Okay, I got Beauty nice and comfortable on my lap and I'm gonna give her some of this. I learned about this from Rose over at Wholesome Roots. Uh, she was uh, suggesting giving it to her baby chicks. I'll put a link down to the video down below. But I'm going to use it for this girl. I've been using it, although this morning I did oh. see her. Yeah? I did see her uh, drink on her own, so that's good. But what it's got in it, it's got some garlic, it has honey, and it oh. has vinegar in it. Oh. And when she wasn't drinking at all, this is what I did. Uh -huh. Let me open the jar. I'm upsetting anybody. I just got this little syringe. I sure do wish I had a tip on it, but I don't. It's all I got. And I'll just draw some of it up. Yeah, Cayenne, you can have some too. And then, well, sometimes I can just get it in her mouth when she's yeah, she'll she'll open her mouth for me, but sometimes when I come at her with this syringe, she won't do it. So I just grab her by the waddles, my thumb and middle finger, and then I just keep her mouth, <laughs> her beak open, and just put a little bit in. Yep, I end up spilling quite a bit of it, but don't tip that over, Cayenne. All right, let's try this again. And then the top part of the beak, I just open up. Oh, sorry, that wasn't a very good one. She's getting stronger, and she doesn't really like this. Sometimes I'll just wait for her to open. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting a little bit in. But basically, you just take the waddles and push the little top beak up. She's not having it right now, though, which is a good thing. I was more worried, and I just squirt a very, very tiny little bit in. 
I don't think I need to do it anymore because she's getting stronger and stronger every day. See that? She just wants to get up. She wants to go. She's done laid her egg. Anyhow, let me try this one more time for you. Good girl. And she seems to like it. Sometimes I'll just get a little bit in when her mouth is open. Good job. See, she kind of likes it. And if they're being totally uncooperative, you can just put a little bit on the top of their beak. Don't get it into their sinuses. And it'll go down into their mouth. <laughs> it's easiest if they can just open their mouth. Just a little bit. One more time. Yep, it's pretty easy. Especially when they're not feeling good. They don't fight quite as much. Careful, she may nip at you. I don't really have to do it. She just kind of has been taking it right out of the syringe. Whoa, look at this. Oh, you want some too? <laughs> Cayenne likes it too. Yeah, I'll put the syringe down here and she'll just go for it. Yeah, you go for it, girl. Oh, I wish I could turn the camera around. I got my hands full, but she's down here getting some of it. That is so funny. What? Are you done? Very good. You know that? And I know when she's had enough when... Oh, here, Cayenne. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> I'll see once I put beauty down. Good girl. Let's get you some more. So I'll just give it to her until she acts like she just isn't having it anymore. Let's see if I can do this one more time. Good girl. And she seems to like it. Yep. The more she's gotten used to it, the more she'll just keep her mouth open for me. Here, Cayenne. <laughs> you are so silly. There we go. See? She's looking down. She wants down. I'm going to let her down. I'm just going to give her a little bit more. And one more time like this. There we go. Good girl. Okay, girlfriend. I'm going to let you down. Yeah, Cayenne, I'll give you some. Hold on. Alrighty. Very gently. What you going to do? Oops, sorry. The more I see her going over and drinking on her own, the better I feel. She may take a little rest here for a little bit. She just laid an egg. I did put a ramp up there, and I... Is she going to do it? Come on, girlfriend. Yeah, she's just going to hunt and peck around. I did put a ramp up there, and I put a nesting box in the back because I am likely just to leave her and Cayenne in here and instead of this being a rooster pen, at least for now have it be a sick or injured or new <laughs> chicken, hen, uh, chicken pen yep she's doing okay on the day that you're actually watching this my parents will be here so because I film and then I upload for it to appear on the next day so they'll be here at about 2 p.m. today, and so no videos for at least a few days at any rate. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep Cayenne and uh, <laughs> Hop Along Beauty. She's out there hopping along. She's just doing so good. I'm going to keep them in this pen, and I'm going to make sure they get up into the coop. Uh, at nighttime, I've put a nesting box in there 
so that will be great and it's going to give the chickens more room in the van which is good um, if the weather is inclement or whatever um, I'll be able to just keep them in the van coop open it all up otherwise and they will you know be able to oh beauty beauty caught up into the coop oh my gosh I missed it <laughs> that's awesome Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.